he crosses to door and reverses the sign in it from open to closed. Don't bother coming in to mommy. You don't mean? You can't mean. What? What, what don't I mean? I mean I'm closed. Forget it. Kaput. You can't. Kaput. Extinct. I'm closing this God and customer forsaken place. Audrey nudges Seymour forward. Well, Mr. Mushnick, forgive me for saying so, but has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the firm needs is to move in a new direction? What Seymour's trying to say is, Mr. Mushnick, well, we've just talked about it and we both agree. Seymour, why don't you run him back and bring out that strange and interesting new plant you've been working on? You see, Mr. Mushnick, some of those exotic plants Seymour has been tinkering around with are really unusual, and we were both thinking that maybe some of his strange and interesting plants prominently displayed and advertised would attract business. A lot. I'm afraid it isn't feeling very well today. Now, isn't that bizarre? At least, what kind of weirdo plant is this? Seymour? I don't know. It looks like some kind of fly trap, but I haven't been able to identify any of my bucks, so I gave it my own name. I call it an Audrey II. After me? I hope you don't mind. You see, sir, if you put a strange and interesting pat like this in here in the window, maybe. Maybe what? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Just because you put a strange and interesting plant in the window, people don't suddenly. Music cue, 3 A, door chimes and opens. All three heads turn. A customer enters the shop. Excuse me, I couldn't help noticing that strange and interesting plant there. What is it? It's an Audrey too. I've never seen anything like it before. No one has. Where did you get it? Well, you remember that total eclipse of the sun a few weeks ago? Hi. All right, so we're going to try to go 